So, the story begins by showing the timeline of the future. Here the weather has deteriorated a lot. Because in other burning start like the sun has come to the sky. Due to this, the people living on the ground are facing not one, but two suns. To save people, a very big city is built underground. Which is called the city of Ember. People start living here and people could live here for about 200 years. Because the resources of so much time. I.e. the food and other things were available. After 200 years, the people of the city of Ember will be allowed to go to the ground. But that too will be through a special way. The way of this place is made on a map on paper. And some important things and rules are written on it and kept closed in a briefcase. Because when people had to go from here. After 200 years, they had to open it. Then the briefcase is prepared and handed over to the first mayor. And with the passing of time, it is given to the new mayor. And so it goes on for many years. But one day, when the current mayor dies. This briefcase is not given to anyone further. Instead, it is kept in one place. Somehow the people had forgotten it. And so it goes on for many years. And one day, the briefcase opens on its own. Now, we see the current situation of the city of Ember. Which is now running on a generator. But the problem is that this generator is also going to break down soon. Along with that, the food and drink items are also ending speedily. In the city of Ember, a school is shown to us. Where when all the children complete the studies, a party is held. In which every child has to take out a paper. On the paper, it was written about all the jobs. And the paper that a child takes out. He will have to do the same job all his life. In this, all kinds of small and big jobs were included. And most of the included jobs were of the generator mechanic. Now here we are shown a boy named Dune. Who wanted to become a generator mechanic like his father. And on the paper that came in his share. The post office was written on it. It means he will do the job of a postman. Here we are also shown a girl whose name is Lena. She was a very good friend of Dune. She gets a job working in pipes. But her dream was always to become a postwoman. So that's why Dune changes her paper with her. In the joy of becoming a postwoman, Lena goes to her house. Here was her grandmother. She was also happy with Lena in her happiness. She reminds Lena of her dad's message here. Actually, before dying, her dad had left a very clear message about this city and the outside world. And also mentioned about the briefcase. But Lena never paid attention to it. Because she believed that all this is useless. The next day she goes to work. She was very happy and was doing her job very well. But suddenly it was noise. When she comes out to check, some people were beating a man. Because he said that the dark part of this city. Which is forbidden to everyone. I saw a very big insect that it had become a creature. But no one believed him. Everyone was beating him thinking he was crazy. But here Lena finds that insect, that creature's horn. Which that man had thrown away. So she keeps it with her. Dune also goes to work. But here his boss was very angry. He makes him do very difficult work. Dune tells his boss that I want to fix the pipeline which is damaged. But his boss says that you will not be able to do it. Because many people tried before you, but nothing happened. He then gives Dune to wear a dead worker's helmet and asks him to work. But because he had to fix the problem of the pipeline somehow. So he steals the pipeline map from his boss's pocket. By checking this whole place through that, he went far ahead. He then reaches outside room number 351, where everyone was forbidden to go. And after coming here, his passion increases. He was also very surprised. Because there was no such room on the map. So that's why he continues his search. This pipeline was quite big. No one knew how far it would go. Moving forward, he reaches a place where food is kept. And he is very scared to see that the food is over somehow. Then the food guard who guards here. He comes and grabs Dune by the collar. Because everyone was forbidden to come here. He was getting angry at him. Suddenly the generator stops. And slowly the whole city's light goes. Darkness was spread all over. Now the generator is being repaired for the time being. But everyone knew that it was not going to last long. That night, Lena goes to her grandmother's house. And she asks him about that briefcase. Actually, whenever the process of the briefcase was going on. Lena's grandfather was also a mayor. And with his death, this briefcase was not given to any mayor. She finds the briefcase. She finds it but she did not know what to do with it. The next day, when Lena goes to the mayor, he was hiding the food boxes that she had seen. The mayor shows some pictures placed there to Lena. In which there was also a picture of her grandfather. And he was holding this briefcase. Now the situation gets worse for them. Because now they had to go through food, drinking and medicine scarcity. Now Lena meets Dune. And she gives him the horn. Which was of the same big insect, that man had thrown. Dune takes the horn and finds out with the help of his dad. Whether it is real or not. His dad had a lot of information about this. But he also does not understand that. How can the horn of an insect be so big? She then refuses to help Dune. Because she did not want to search more about the city. When Lena does not get any help from Dune's dad. 
she shows him the briefcase, in which a piece of torn paper, a plate and a piece of glass are found, on which a mark was made. As soon as they join the pieces of torn paper, they find a way out of the city, that is, to go to the outside world. This was the map that was kept in the briefcase at the start. And to go that way, they had to go through room number 351. As soon as these people go there, they find a paralyzed man, who runs away as soon as he sees them. He was holding food boxes in his hand, that he also drops there. And Dune was quite surprised to see that, because that food box was already finished in the city, which meant that by lying to people, this food has been hidden somewhere. Now before they could check anything else, the creature attacks them, which was actually the same insect, and now it had become a creature. So now to save his life, they have to run away from here. Lena looks at Dune's helmet, on which Lena's dad's name was written. When she sees and understands, my dad used to do work at the same pipelines, who is not alive now, so she starts remembering him. Seeing this, Lena now goes to her aunt's house, and asks about the death of her dad. That how did it happen? She tells her that your dad was fond of going out of the city, and he found a way as well, but before the mission was completed, he died of drowning, hearing such a death of her dad. She becomes very sad, she also sees the food guard there, who was coming limping, seeing him, Lena remembers that night, and she goes straight to Dune and tells him everything, that no one else was stealing food that night, in fact, the food guard was running away, because he was also limping, so now these people go to room number 351, where they were stunned after coming, because this whole room was full of food, which the greedy mayor had collected for himself, and this food was so much that, it could have lasted for his entire life while his people were starving to death, so people run away from there and go to Lina's house, they listen to Lina's dad's recordings, in which it was being told about a soldier, that's why he immediately runs away and goes to his dad, and starts asking him about Lina's dad and the soldier, then his dad tells him that Lina's dad and the soldier, were together in the mission, they used to do the same pipeline work, but never succeeded in the mission, but along with Lina's dad, many of his companions also died, including that soldier, that's why I never told you about this mission. In fact, I always tried to keep away from mechanical and pipeline work. Now Dune understands the problem of his dad. But somehow he had to complete this mission now. That is, by leaving here himself. And by removing the rest of the people. The Lena tries to expose the mayor. That is, how greedy he is. She wanted to bring it in front of everyone. But the poor girl is caught. The mayor himself had caught her. Then the lights start to turn on and off. Tand Lena takes advantage of this thing steals the mayor's badge and runs away. Because of this, Lena and Dune, both a criminal, put at the top of the list of criminals. They now join the mayor's badge and a piece of glass of the briefcase together, by which it was completed, and that mark was made on it, which was also made on the door of the generator room. They think that maybe this is the key to that room. That room does not open. Then when Lena reads the important things written on the map, then it turns out that they have to remove the cupboard. And now as soon as she removes the cupboard, Many cupboards were lying in a secret place. They then read the second rule. According to it, the wheel starts spinning. By which all the cupboards are on one side. And the generator room is on one side. As soon as a secret door opens. They reach another underground city. Here a long river was connected to a very large piece of machinery. Actually, all these cupboards were not here. That stuff will be kept in them. In fact, people will sit in it and go from here. According to the third rule. They had to go to the control room. As soon as they use that piece of glass and glass like a key. The door of the control room opens. Coming inside, they see a lot of buttons. Which controlled all the machinery here. According to the important things told. As soon as they turn the wheel, press the button. Then the machinery starts spinning on its own. But the problem increases for them when the water pressure increases. And the city lights start working fast now. Suddenly the pressure increases so much. That the pipelines break. Due to this, there was a danger of a flood now. When the mayor was standing with all the people, then everything starts moving the two. The chimneys start falling, due to which the mayor understands that my secret is going to come in front of everyone. And this city is also going to be destroyed due to the flood. That's why he goes to such a room, where water could not come. But a very big creature comes there and attacks the mayor, and immediately swallowed him, as the water pressure was increasing. The boss of the dune comes there to fix the whole system. And he tells the dune, you have to hold the handle to fix the machinery and to control the water pressure. Which is obviously dangerous. But people's lives can be saved like this. So you run away from here, I will do this work. Now although the dune did not want to do this. But he has to go. And his boss risks his life and holds the handle. Now here Lena, her younger sister and the dune sit in a boat. Due to the water pressure, the boat leaves from there. 
they come far ahead and come to such a tunnel, where it was very dark. These people did not feel good. So they pray to save the lives.